Hi, this is Mr. Wassman, and today we're going to be looking at partial quotients division. We're going to start with problem number one, which is a story problem. So, of course, we're going to use the ruckus strategy to help us solve. Once again, ruckus is read multiple times, underline the question, circle important information, come up with an action plan, and solve. And again, for the ease of this uh, demonstration, I'm going to highlight instead of uh, circle. So let's read the problem. The Carnival Committee has 360 small prizes to distribute to five booths. How many prizes will each booth get? The Carnival Committee has 360 small prizes to distribute to five booths. How many prizes will each booth get? So my number model with an unknown is going to be the number of prizes, 360, divided by the number of booths, which is 5. And then we need an unknown. We'll say P for prizes. Now, to come up with an estimate of how uh, many prizes will go to each booth, I need to come up with a rounded number. Now, 360 is a rounded number because it ends in 0. But I want one that's easily divisible by 5. So I'm going to go with 350 otherwise known as 35 tens. 35 tens divided by 5 is going to give me 7 tens, or 70, because 5 times 7 is 35. So my estimate is that my answer, my quotient, is going to be about 70 prizes per booth. So now I have to do the actual algorithm. So I'm going to use a division bracket or vinculum, is the fancy math term, or house for us plain folk. We're going to put 360, my dividend, what I'm going to divide, in the house, and I'm going to put my divisor knocking on the door on the outside of the house. So now I have to ask myself, how many groups of 5 can I get out of 360? Well, 5 times 10 is 50, so I know I can at least get 10 groups. 5 times 20 is 100. So I know I can get at least 20 groups. But this is where my estimate comes in handy because I already know that my answer is going to be at least as big as 70 because 5 times 7 is 35. So 5 times 7 tens is going to give me 35 tens or 350. So I can just skip ahead to 70 because 70 times 5 is 350. I can use that subtract. 0 minus 0, 6 minus 5, 3 minus 3. So that leaves me with 10. Now 10 is bigger than 5, so I continue to divide. Now we all know that 10 is divisible by 5 because 2 times 5 is 10. So when I subtract the difference and I'm left with nothing, I now have to look at my partial quotients, which are right here. 70 and 2. And of course, 70 and 2 is going to give me an answer of 72. So that is my answer, 72 prizes. Now, if we look at this problem, there is no remainder because 360 is equally divided into five groups. So the question, how many prizes are left over, the answer is zero. Now that's not always going to be the case in division. Sometimes you're going to be left with something called a remainder, or stuff left over, which we'll get into a little bit more as we explore further into division. Okay, uh, real quickly let's look at the practice problems down at the bottom. Put these decimals in order from least to greatest. Well, we have to look at what number is to the left of my decimal point, and what number is to the right. And again, least is littlest. So which of these numbers is the littlest? Well, I start by looking to the left of the decimal point. Anything with a zero is going to be small. Then I look to the right of the decimal point. I have a 9 
for 98 hundredths. I have a 3 and 34 hundredths, and then I have a 0 for, for 8 hundredths. Well, 8 is the smallest of them all. So I'm going to go with 8 hundredths, and then I'm going to eliminate. Then I can just follow up by what number comes next. 34 hundredths, because 3 is bigger than 0. 9 is bigger than 3, so 98 hundredths. And then the only number left that has a whole number in the 1's place value, which is 9.8, or 9 and 80 hundredths. I added that extra 0 for a place value holder. And that's a order from Mr. Greatest. If you have any questions or concerns, please have your parents email me. Otherwise, I will talk to you tomorrow. Thank you.